Hey besties, it's Corey at Linda's. In this video, I wanna give you a sneak preview of what you might be learning when you take my stencils class at Quilt Canada this year. I'm super excited to be there. Um, I'm gonna be showing off in this video some stencil work that I'm gonna to use to work. So we have this stencil. Always remember your stencils are going label side down. And I'm lining up the vertical lines of this stencil with the line work in the piece block already. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pounce powder and give it a nice little hit. And that's gonna put that in the pad. And we're gonna just brush it right over the top of this. Remove that stencil and that's gonna give us our first set of vertical lines. Now I need to turn the stencil horizontally and line up the grid lines or the, the, the lines with the um, piecework in the block as well to keep it going straight with the block. We'll pounce it down again and then remove that stencil. That's gonna give us that great checkerboard grid work that we are going to use to kind of explode out the side there um, to create a really cool new design in that background. So I added a little mist over the chalk to help keep it steady and hold it down. And that's gonna keep it from bouncing around while we're quilting, just a little fun tip or trick there. And I want to do some uh, ribbon candy work here, and we're gonna be working back and forth through the row of this. Um, whenever you're getting started, of course, we're gonna tie off, make sure we're good to go there. And you wanna determine how many ribbon candies you wanna fit in each square. So kind of start mapping it out with your finger. I think I might need one, two, three, or four, however many you want to go in that square. So you have that consistency across the board on this one. So I'm gonna start up my machine. I'll start down and this ribbon candy is these up and down random loops. Once I get to this one, I'm gonna go horizontal now. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and trying to keep it as continuous as possible working across the quilt as we're going. And so you're moving down from left to right, you're moving across the row, and then we're gonna drop down the side of the block, and then we're gonna go to the right now. So we're gonna do a little bit of that horizontal, and then come in with the vertical. That's gonna create a really cool checkered board effect in the background using that same color uh, thread, trying to match it up as best as possible with the background fabric. And that's gonna help kind of just lay it back into the background, adding a little bit of extra uh, uniqueness to it, a little bit of movement to it, but it doesn't take away from the overall block by any means. Also kind of looks like it's, um, maybe exploding or fanning out from that center nine patch that's in the block, uh, which is just a really cool way to take stencils to a next level to kind of create that perfect spacing that you need to have whatever you, you need in your quilt block. Um, I hope to see you at Quilt Canada this year, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.